So Angular CLI is the new hotness. You can create an Angular app in just one command. We'll call this Angular 2 app. And literally the CLI is gonna create an Angular 2 app for us. And when the install is complete, you can do ng serve, and it'll serve up that web app for you. Awesome, so we have a web app. Now you may be asking yourself, how could we get a native script app into this as easy as possible? Turns out there is a way. There is one single NPM module that you can install called native script ng2 magic. And when the magic install is complete, you will see that there are commands now that you can run your iOS and Android app with. Before we do so, there's a couple steps we need to complete. If we look at the readme on NativeScript ng2 magic in the usage guide, we just need to follow these three simple steps. First, we want to use the component from NativeScript ng2 magic. The reason for this is it provides the automatic template switching on your views. So the first thing we want to do is just swap component and import from native script ng2 magic. The component from native script ng2 magic is identical to the component from Angular Core. It just adds the automatic view switching for the template URL to use a .tns.html file for your native script view when running from the native script app. Then the other thing we want to do is, at the moment, absolute URLs are used. So relative URLs for your templates and CSS require just usage of absolute URLs. So we remove module ID since that's used for the relative uh, location path and we just add app to make it an absolute path. So now we have component coming from NativeScript ng2 magic and we have our absolute URL set up here. Now we want to just adjust the bootstrap of the native script app to import our component correctly. So once we open the native script folder here, in main.ts you can see much like Angular 2's bootstrap, there is a native script bootstrap. And we just want to change this to the actual file name of our root component, and in this case, it's angularapp.component, and the name of it is angular2app app component, which is a little silly in this example because of the way I named this project. And now with that ready, we can create native script views. Let's start out by creating angular2app.component.tns.html. TNS stands for Telerik Native Script you'll want to install a handy extension and you can access it in VS Code by ext install ng2 and that'll pull up the native script Angular 2 snippets. With those installed, setting up native script views becomes very easy. Let's first set up an action bar, then we'll set up a stack layout and inside the stack layout we'll just place a label and we'll bind it to title. So just like we could bind in our Angular 2 web templates, we can bind the same way in native script view templates. I'm gonna take out, actually I'm gonna take out both action items for now just for this example. And let's put a title on our app called Angular CLI Magic. And I'll save that. So now what we have is a native script view sitting right next to our web view and it uses all the logic from our root component. So we're actually gonna use the title binding from the root component inside of our native script view. And again, as I mentioned, because these are symbolic links, you can see that all of the same stuff is inside the native script directory as well. So with that in mind, let's run our iOS app. So now we have our native Angular 2 app running inside native script. You can see this is using the binding from our root component. Angular 2 app works and it's bound to the label and we have our title from the action bar in the native script view template. But let's say we actually want to do live development workflow. 
there's another command that is added to your package file for you once you install Magic, and it's npm run start live sync iOS. The same commands exist for Android, so you could npm run start.android or npm run start.live sync.android to run it in an Android emulator. But let's queue up our live sync and let's make a couple style adjustments. Okay, so now we're running in live sync mode and we can adjust the app CSS in our native script app here. This CSS controls the global style for the entire app. Uh, let's see, let's create a heading and let's say font size 25. Let's set a margin to 20 and let's uh, actually let's just stick with that for the moment and let's put that on our label in the native script view. Let's save that and you'll see that the CLI that's running the native script app will cue that change and we'll actually relaunch our app here. And we can see now we have a bigger font size and the margin set. I'll also make one other small adjustment and let's say I want to actually color that purple. Okay, cool. So this is working really well. I was able to drop a native script app in my existing web app and reuse all the code from my web app. Now, let's go back to the web and let's see if everything's still working with our web app. And as we can see, things are broken here. If we open the console, we can see we actually get a 404 on NativeScript NG2 Magic. This is just related to the fact that the CLI needs to have a system.js set up for any third-party library that's installed. So let's adjust our system.js so our web app still works. You can find the configuration for third-party libraries from their readme on a wiki page here. And here it explains how to add support for third-party libraries. I'll walk you through how to make the adjustments for this particular library. Each library is a little different. We want to start off by at least adding that we want the vendor bundle to include our NativeScript NG2 magic. And then we also want to set up a map in our system.js config that will map our import NativeScript NG2 magic to the correct location from our served files. And then lastly, we want to set up a package for our NPM module. So for NativeScript NG2 Magic, we want to set our main file to NativeScript NG2 Magic inside of the installed lib, and we want to set default extension to JS. We're going to go ahead and stop this build and rerun it with those adjustments. And now our web app is working again. So here now we have NativeScript NG2 Magic installed. It set up a NativeScript app for us. It gave us a component that gives us automatic template URL switching to NativeScript views when it's running in a NativeScript app, and it allows your web app to work as normal. We can also make changes inside the NativeScript app directory or inside our web source. It's the same files, so you don't have to worry about if you're making changes in one or the other. One other thing I'll show you is how to debug. So in a NativeScript app in VS Code, there is an integration where you can add by clicking on this gear, NativeScript. We just want to make sure that our scripts here actually launch our debugger from the NativeScript folder. So for instance, let's modify our launch on iOS emulator and let's set our target to launch on iOS emulator and hit start. And as we can see, every time the debugger starts, it'll set a line break right on the first line of execution just to let you know that the, the, the debugger is engaged. This will give you the opportunity to set some breakpoints if you wanted to. So at this point, I set a breakpoint just on the single line inside of our root component and hitting play let us catch the title as that app component was being initialized. So we don't have much logic in our component at the moment, but you can see where this would be very helpful as you can jump into a live debugging session inside your NativeScript app. 
So one note on the debug settings, if we go back into the settings here, I added the slash native script here to each of these app roots. If you want to use any or all of these commands, you could simply paste slash native script to the end of these app roots, and then you could use any of these settings to engage the debugger, and it will always launch it from your native script app root. And that is how to share code between your web app and a native script app, and probably the quickest way to get a native script app into your Angular 2 web app. Welcome to the magical world of native script.